Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. I'm here to do you guys' reading. Thank you guys for all the support you've been showing the channel, Virgo. Let's get started. I'm going to do something different this time. I can't keep doing the same spread. I get boring. So we're going to do the spread. Then I'm going to get uh, some oracles from the, uh, what are these called? The wisdom, uh, wisdom of the house of the night. And then we're going to get an animal spirit message. Let's get going, Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo, please? I've already shuffled all the decks. <clears throat> what messages do we have for Virgo? Okay, you have the Eight of Cups, Justice, uh -oh. the Three of Cups, and the Hangman in Reverse. You know what I'm getting from this? You could have walked away from something because you felt like it was unfair. And now whatever it is wants to return with this three of cups. But as of now, you're just not interested in it. I feel like you may be focusing on something else. You may was waiting for a, t a time period, waiting for this to come and trying to figure things out. But it looks like after a while, you just became disinterested. That's what this could be. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's get some clarifications. The lovers. You walked away from a relationship. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the lovers, the sun, the princess of cups. And the Three of Swords. Then we also have the Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah, so it's the just like I was saying, you could have you walked away from maybe a rela a relationship, a lovable lovers, somebody you had a strong connection with uh, this person, and you did that because you you realized a lot wasn't fair about this relationship, and you decided to um, you know go for your happiness with the justice and the. Um, the sun you decided that you you found you re realized somewhere along this that the only way you're going to seek um balance in this situation is just to go for your own happiness your own prosperity but since you walked away this person soon has realized something maybe they were contemplating with this four of swords and this um ace of swords they were contemplating or just you know in deep contemplating and they realize something they may could have it could have been this connection all together and how they kind of left you out just kind of ghosted you or left you hanging now this person wants to return and kind of and the seven of pentacles was under that so this person wants to return and put a lot more effort into this relationship for yeah this person may be coming to contact you with an offer with this uh, Princess of Pentacles, uh, Princess of Cups, excuse me, and the Three of Cups. When I feel like you're disinterested because of the heartbreak, this person really hurt you and disappointed you. I feel like you had a lot of their strong bond with uh, this person. Let's get some more. Let's get one more row. Do this last row a little different. You know what I want to look into, Virgo? Let's look into this Ace of Swords. I want to see what this person realized. Clarify this Ace of Swords. What did this person realize? Well, for one, they realized with the Seven of Wands that you had a set boundary and you wasn't finna bend. No matter what uh, they tried to do, because I feel like this person tried to like create some type of conflict or something like that. Just something petty just to get your attention. And it didn't work. So what you did was you this person realized that you uh, whatever boundary you placed on this relationship, you wasn't moving. You wasn't budging. Oh, wow. A lot came out. Let's see what this is. 
Yeah, the boundary you place, uh, place with this relationship with the Princess of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Remember I say this person, because for some of you, this person contacted you in the midst of you letting go of this. I got two more cards over here too. But this person realized that they can't just come at you with like little offers or just trying to do the bare minimum to get your attention after stabbing you in the back that you were coming out of that type of energy. Like, I don't want to be stabbed in the back and then not even really offered an apology or something sincere to get back in my good graces. It's like either you come at me correct with the seven of wands or you just stay uh, where you are is what I'm getting. But by doing that, you create you, you allow this person to learn a lesson. And that lesson was how to treat you because this person felt like at some point you gave up with this connection but in this case it, it it taught you a lesson too that sometimes it's not good to even allow stuff to get so bad with this ten of swords that you to to where it's like you're completely heartbroken so I feel like that this came this whatever happened in this situation happened for lessons to be learned for both of you guys and you've been on a long journey this far trying to I feel like this journey was more about your your soul's growth with this um, nine of wands. You there was a lot you grew from maybe, and I feel like one of your growth was like the type the effort you put into a relationship while receiving just a little bit back. And look at that, the emperor. Now this can be you just taking control, or that could be this person coming towards you with a, um, as a, a um, as a grown up now with this king of wands because at first this person came as the page of wands in reverse and now this person wants to come back as the king of wands and the emperor so there could have been some growth within this person since the last time you've been around them and look at that the ace of cups so a new offer something that's um something that's more fulfilling for you but i feel like when this person come back you're gonna be with this two of swords i don't know I kind of have my peace going now. I don't know if I want to disturb it. That may be what you're thinking with this temperance card. Yeah, you may decide to hold back from this. Why you decide, which is okay, because the two of wands, four of uh, pentacles, and the um, temperance is like, I'm going to hold back until I realize what I want to do. Okay, you found a lot of independence and just kind of comfortable where you are at this time. <clears throat> and it was... And I think this person realized your independence when you cut them off, okay? It's like you had to end it for this. Maybe this person felt like um, <clears throat> you were, the, sometimes when you you know you're forgiven, people will think that your kindness is a weakness. And that's far from a Virgo. They were very kind, but I, I doubt weak is what it is. It's kind and loving, okay? Before we get into the next spread... <clears throat> Let me get you some cards out of this deck. Let's see what this deck has to say about why this situation is coming up, okay? Please give me messages for Virgo. We have fulfillment. So this is the Ace of Cups again. Let me get, uh, okay, let's just get, let's get about, let's see what else comes out, if something else comes out. Any more for Virgo? reminder okay and then self-worth at the bottom of the deck so virgo this reminder card speaks of it's a 28 but this card, um, it speaks of basically, hold on, let me go to my thing. It's like, remember what you've learned out of this experience, because there's no need to repeat, repeat the same lesson, okay? Which means that this person may come back, okay? Because <clears throat> the similar situation for some of you may arise within uh, this person, or it could be a different person. You may meet somebody. And just remember, if that situation... Um, rise that a feel fulfillment is coming for you it's just to have faith okay and also about it's a remember your self-worth and your self-values in this situation this card speaks of um and then let me go to my sheet this card speaks of asking yourself uh where do you place your values do you believe in yourself and do you behave that way and tell others you're worthy of that and that could be with this but this is coming to a conclusion with this card here and then underneath there, that's the success. 
but I am getting this another way too, Virgo. Let's do some clarifying, but I feel we're going to do self-worth worth too, okay? I do feel like this is saying remember what happened and to set those boundaries too. But for some of you, this can actually turn around, I do feel. We're going to look into it, okay? And always make sure this person, whoever this person is, if they do come back and they're not on the same page as you, that um, <clears throat> remind this person that a lot have changed within you, okay, Virgo? Let's see what this is about. As this uh, reminder can be just make sure, you know what I'm getting with this card? Like make sure you don't repeat the same cycles going back to like what happened in the beginning of that relationship. When did you start um, allowing someone to get away with something to where they lost their respect for you or something like that is what I'm getting. But let's see. Please clarify fulfillment. Hmm. We have the two of cups, the five of wands. Hold on. Let's see if I'm getting, let me make sure. As this um, fulfillment card speaks of you're close to achieving a certain goal and you have much to be grateful for all as well. So and with that coming out with the two of the two of cups and the five of wands. I'm getting that. When this person do reaches reach out, because they they're gonna reach out with this uh, page of swords. I just feel like a part of them reaching out may cause like a, a conflict within you. But you've 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 done a lot of work on yourself. You've already took control and found your independence. Did a lot of soul searching. Really know exactly what you want. You're already fulfilled within you. Let me see. You're on a whole nother journey. Clarify this a little bit more. Okay. Hangman underneath the deck. So, yeah, this person is going to reach out um, to start over with you again with judgment here. This is some a decision. This is like a big decision for this person and yourself, because whatever this is, this is uh, for the long haul, the long run. However, we have the devil, the nine of cups and the knight, the princess of wands. So the Prince of Wands, excuse me, which is similar to the Knight of Wands. So there's an aspect of this person, especially with this Knight of Cups and the devil with the Knight of Wands, that this person is coming back in a way that's kind of selfish. It's something that they want within themselves. And um, you have to be careful with, for, with that, especially with this Knight of Wands. Maybe this is saying that um, it's time to look at this in a different perspective and kind of uh, cut this situation out, kind of let it go for now, because this person is still treating you as if you're an option. It's like this person, um, it's 
like this person do love you, do care. There's potential here, but there's still some work within this person that needs to happen in order for this to move forward in any way. And that's what this reminder card is. It's like, remember all the work you did. There's no need to repeat in lessons. And this card also talks about... Um, if you do decide to go down that road, then it's okay, but you're going to end up basically in the same place. But the divine is saying, if that's a choice you make, since we all have free will, they'll be there to catch you, is another thing this card talks about. Let's look at this reminder card and get more clarification for you, Virgo. Please clarify, remind, it ain't right, hold on. But this card also talks about having faith. Yeah, be at peace with this temperance of where things going. It's like you're building an empire. You got a lot good going for yourself. Because look, you have the sun in this card where you the fog is leaving. So, sorry, like y'all can see that far, huh? <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see it in the card. You see how the sun is right here? And it's like the fog leaving. So you just now get into a place where you're gaining your happiness back. And yeah, you have ships that are coming in, beautiful things that are coming in, okay? And it's like, remember not to repeat any lessons, okay? Because it seems like you're building an empire. You want a lot for, for yourself. Then you had the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Wands, excuse me. So that's like, have been you've already been through a lot and we don't want to repeat those same lessons. Remember where you were when you first started this journey <clears throat> from this person, how you felt that day and just remind yourself of anything. So you won't repeat those same lessons. Okay. Whether, um, this is something just follow your intuition too. Cause this is a general reading. Cause this is coming to a conclusion. Okay. And whatever conclusion, you see that success under there. I'm sorry. Like y'all got a microscope. You see the success here too. So don't worry. All is successful. But also remember that you guys do have difference. Differences, okay? Differences of opinion. Different ways of looking at life with this differences card coming out. So just be okay with where this person is right now and kind of maintain your peace of mind for right now, Virgo, because I feel like that three of wands is saying like you have something beautiful coming in and anybody that don't fit in that form of beauty that you want, then it's just not meant for you at that time. And it was forbidden underneath that one. and forbidden is saying it's basically like something that you may think about doing is not a good idea. You might not want to do that. Okay. Let's, let's clarify this self-worth. Hmm. Issue with uh, this, you being confident, this is the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. This, you being confident moving forward. And just offering yourself that, that self-love with this princess of cups. Because, yeah, you've done a lot of soul searching and you know exactly what it is you want to invest in and what you don't. And then with this seven of pentacles, we already know what the work that came, like what was done in this relationship and how things turned out. Okay. So just because um, you don't want to be hurt again, <clears throat> just to like have strength. And if it's not fitting in that ideal life that you want for yourself, anything that doesn't work for the life that you create, want to create for yourself, it can't be there. Okay, Virgo, let me get you. And then the six of cups. So yeah, this is someone from the past. It might be a sense that sometime a part of you may be holding on to this person also a little bit. But right now, to me, this is saying that um, right now is not a good time. This person may still have some growing to do. OK, because this fulfillment card is saying, I mean, that um, not the fulfillment card, the reminder card is saying have faith because things can, will be better later on down the road. Let's see what we have for Virgo. One more message and I'll close out the reading. Mm -hmm. 
be liar, uh, the lion, be lion hearted in your endeavors. Can you see it? Okay, Virgo, this is the message I have for you. I hope it helps. Have a good one. Bye.